up guys are you ready to be fitch pilled there's a lot of pills out there black pill white pill blue pill purple pill red pill there's too many pills i'm gonna simplify things for you and break things down and hope you're ready to take a hard pill a hard pill to swallow it's the fitch pill i'm gonna go easy on you in this first episode and we're gonna get into something basic, right? And that's the reason why you need to know how to fight, the reason you need to train, right? It's not acceptable for you to go through life being afraid, being anxious, not knowing how to defend yourself at all. I'm not saying you have to be a world champ, I'm not saying you have to compete, but you need to know how to take care of yourself. I'm gonna go into some of the reasons why. I got four main reasons, four main reasons why you need to learn how to fight. Number one, we'll go easy here. Number one is basic fitness. Your basic fitness. When you go to train, when you go to learn some basic hand fighting, you go learn to throw punches and kicks and some knees, if you don't have some baseline of fitness level, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it through class. You're gonna be throwing up, you're gonna be hurting, it's gonna be miserable. Learning how to fight is important because when you go through the process of learning how to fight, it shows you that you need to meet certain basic requirements of fitness just to stand a chance of defending yourself. It's a lot more work and it involves a lot more energy than you could possibly conceive. If you've never been in a situation where you had to fight out of a bad situation, even if only for like 30 seconds, you got thrown on your back, somebody on top of you, and you've got to fight to get away. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of work in that type of situation, it will show you that you need to be in shape on some level. You need to be lifting. You need resistance training to keep your body healthy and strong so you don't get injured at practice. You need to lift and do resistance training because you want to keep your lean muscle high so it helps battle body fat and keep your body fat low. You realize that you need to do some level of cardio because yeah, you can eat well and you can lift weights, but if you don't do some type of cardio, you know, you may look good. You may look lean and, and fairly healthy, but get into a 30 second hand fight, grapple fight, neck wrestle, you'll see how important having some extra gas in the tank it is in that fight scenario. So when you start learning how to fight, you start noticing things about your overall physicality. You'll notice that you could be stronger. You'll notice that you might get injured more, have more uh, sore joints or sore things because you're not strong. You haven't been lifting. You'll notice that you'll get tired really, really quickly and you can't exert any more energy if you don't have some baseline of cardio you know if you're not getting in that hit cardio you're gonna flatline you're gonna be gasping for air and it's gonna be a struggle so basic fitness that's my first reason why you need to learn how to fight number two and this is a big one these aren't really in any any special order you can mix them up but number two on my list is discipline it teaches you discipline to learn how to fight because you have to be disciplined in paying attention to your teacher you have to be disciplined in performing and executing the technique you have to be disciplined in working with your partner and being diligent and being a good partner and making sure that they're doing it right and they're making sure you're doing it right you have to be disciplined in setting your schedules and meeting your schedules we already talked about how learning how to fight forces you to look at the fact that you need a higher level of physical fitness and that's going to need more scheduling that's going to need more discipline to make sure you're getting those things done too if you're a person who struggles with discipline, learning how to fight is something that's going to definitely force you into being a more disciplined person. Learning how to fight is definitely something that's going to force you into being a more disciplined person. You can't be lazy, in shape, and know how to fight. That, that really doesn't happen. So being more disciplined in your life will carry over. Being more disciplined around fitness, being more disciplined around martial arts and your fighting training will help you develop discipline in other areas. It will, it will spill over. You can't not help but put things in their place because you're, you have your workouts at a certain time 
with your people. To be there on the right time, to get it done at the right time, you got to be there. You got your work at a certain time. You got your meals prepped and ready to eat at a certain time. You got your your workouts uh, for, for strength training and cardio planned ahead of time. And scheduling will, will help you greatly. Number three. Number three reason it's important that you learn how to fight. My third reason, and that is confidence. Build your confidence up. Learning how to fight builds your confidence. Because when you get put into bad situations, when you get put into mount, when you have somebody on your back, when you have somebody threatening a choke, when you have somebody threatening an arm bar, when you have somebody throwing punches and kicks at you, throwing knees at you, it forces you to react, forces you to defend, forces you to act, but you get more comfortable with it. I had one of my clients come in, guy's in his 50s, he's never really had too many punches thrown at him in his life. You know, back when he was in the military, fine, but it's been 20, 20, 30 years since he had anybody like trying to fight him or whatever. So working with him, throwing punches at him, making him have to defend against that. You know, he comes back at me later, talking about how confident he is out when he's out places doing things. He understands that space management more. He understands to keep an eye on body language and pay attention to, you know, unruly people who are getting too close. He's, he's got a much higher level of confidence with understanding simple things about fighting. When we first started working together, he, he panicked in every situation. He panicked in every position I put him in because he didn't quite understand how to get out of the those positions. He was uncomfortable. He didn't like it. He didn't like where he was. But the only way to move from that position to a better position was to actually use the technique and do it. So he had to calm down. He had to take his time. He had to get through it step by step. And now he's able to react much quick, more quickly. Uh, his confidence is much better. He's not hesitating as much as he used to. So when you start training and you start putting yourself in bad situations, you start realizing you don't know anything about fighting and you start gradually learning you start getting better you start understanding how much you didn't know about fighting and how much your average person around you doesn't know about fighting it's a big confidence boost you start understanding like wow like i've been training six months and i'm pretty confident that i could hold my own against everybody in this in the room that you're in you know you go out to a restaurant have a look around go out to a bar have a look around you re start realizing how unfit and uncapable people are at at fighting and defending themselves it's a big confidence booster and i don't th mean that in a sense that you need to be like a tough guy going around like oh, i can kick everybody's butt out here but when you have that confidence in the fight scenario it transfers over it spills over into other aspects. You're going to have more confidence at work. You're going to have more confidence with the women. You're going to have more confidence in your daily activities. Because when you're training and learning how to fight, people are punching you in the face. People are choking you. People are trying to snap your arm. And you're surviving that. You're surviving that. You're fighting back and you're doing it back to them. Whatever's going to happen to you at work, you approach that cute girl you want to talk to. What's the worst? Are you going to get punched in the face? Maybe, but you know, you know how to deal with it now. So who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares if she pops you in the nose? Say hi. It'll give you confidence. You need confidence. That's a big thing for a lot of people today. A lot of people suffer from anxiety. And I think if they would go to jujitsu, go to Muay Thai, go to a boxing class, go to wrestling, be constantly put into bad situations and have to fight out of them is a big help. The other thing that helps with the confidence in learning how to fight is you have to train with other people. You're going to have coaches that tell you how to do things. You're going to have teammates or classmates, people that are going through the stuff with you, people who've been through what you've been through, people who are going through what you're going through now. And you're going to make friends. You're going to make friends with strangers through, through beating each other up. It's a wild thing. It's a different type of friend. It's a friend who is not really a friend if they're not trying their best to hurt you. <laughs> if they're not trying hard to get your arm and arm bar you, they're not helping you out. So you'll gain confidence with other people, talking to other people, getting comfortable with other people, because you're gonna have a lot of strangers thrown at you in this class. You don't know their name all the time. You don't know anything about them, but you all got the same pajamas on, same workout clothes, and you're uh, all beating the crap out of each other. It, it'll help, it'll help. You go out to a social event, you're usually not confident with talking to new people, meeting new people. How can you let that bother you? You, you were just in a room of like 30 strangers who were all trying to choke you. You're telling me you can't mingle now in a group of people who are having drinks and having fun? 
come on. Chances are there's a lot less people in that group trying to choke you than the people in your jiu-jitsu class. Relax. You can relax a little bit. Have that confidence. Learn how to fight, guys. Then the last one, number four. Number four reason why I think you need to learn how to fight. And it's the most important to me is self-defense. You need to know how to defend yourself. Again, you don't have to be a world champion. You don't have to be the best self-defense person in the world. You just have to be good enough. You have to be good enough to uh, detour somebody who's attacking you and make them want to quit. Predators want easy targets. They want to do damage, get away. They don't want to get hurt and they don't want to get caught. If you have emotional people who are acting out emotionally, you're going to have more confidence. You're going to be able to handle the situation if their emotional outburst turns physical. When you have that ability to defend yourself, you can go more places, do more things, walk with your head up more, you know, be more confident in your life. Uh, you also owe it to yourself. It's a God-given right to self-defense. You need to make sure that you're doing the work to be able to uphold it. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's going to come and look out for you. Uh, we see it, you know, time and time again recently. It seems like crime is getting worse and the punishments are getting lighter for the criminals. So if you're not able to stand up for yourself and defend yourself, defend the people you love around you, like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. If you really think that somebody else is going to step up and do it for you, you really think somebody else is going to call the cops and get them there in time to save you? Probably not. Probably not. You're going to have to do it yourself. So you need to learn how to fight because you need to understand how to defend yourself. I think a well-trained society is a very peaceful society. When people have gone through the lessons that you learn through learning how to fight, you become more peaceful because you understand what goes into violence. You understand what goes into fighting. And it's not worth it unless, you know, you're competing for big prizes. If you're not going to be competing in amateur, you're not going to do smokers, you're not going to fight professionally, then, then you have no business <laughs> fighting at all. But you still need to know how to defend yourself. All right, guys, those are my reasons. It's a, that's a, it's a big fitch pill for you. You need to know how to fight. You need to learn how to fight. Quit making excuses. Learn something. Figure out something. There's plenty of courses online. <laughs> I got some stuff available on Gumroad. You can go to seminars, find a local gym. It's best that you find something local that you enjoy going to and you can go to two, three times a week. Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai are great. Boxing is good. I enjoy being able to hit the bag, throw punches, kicks, grab people, wrestle around a little bit. It's good for you. It'll make you, make you feel alive. You need the basic skills that you get from learning how to fight. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share if you dig it. Let me know in the comments too if you like this uh, little series I'm doing, and I'll keep it going. All right, guys, we'll check you later.